My name is Andrew Cody and I grew up in Nashua, New Hampshire. I graduated from Nashua High School South in 2006. Really, I grew up in the area um, doing lots of different kind of musical things, but music uh, never really became a true focus until about after I graduated and, and went and studied studying music education at the University of New Hampshire. Uh, so I grew up um, playing in rock bands that I'd formed and, you know, of course playing with mom and dad, you know, upstairs listening uh, to me bash away on my drums in the basement. And uh, from there I've kind of evolved and started getting, getting a lot more involved into teaching music and kind of um, just more of the different angles that you can go at other than just the rock angle. I graduated in 2010 with a bachelor's degree in music education. And so with that degree, I was, um, you know, set up to become certified to teach um, K through 12 in public schools. But instead of going into public school teaching um, while I was studying at, at the University of New Hampshire and, and working with guys like um, Dr. Michael Anikerko and Dr. Andrew Boyson, um, I started finding a passion for composing, mainly for um, the school groups that I was starting to work with. And so instead of going on um, into public school teaching, I actually went out to Central Michigan University and I studied music composition out there with um, a guy named David Gillingham. And the nice thing about graduate school out there for the music graduate programs is I was actually awarded a teaching assistantship. So instead of having to take out student loans and um, have to pay for my education that way, what they did was they actually uh, paid for my tuition in full um, when I came out there and they actually paid me a stipend about seven or eight thousand dollars to basically live off of. I had to obviously find other work while I was out there but I had enough to survive off of and I didn't have to take out any student loans for my education. And I'm actually going to George Mason University in the fall which is down in Fairfax, Virginia near Washington DC. And so while I'm down there, I'm actually getting my doctorate in music composition as well, so I'm continuing this. And during my master's program, I really got to um, enjoying working with the college-age kids. I taught two sections of um, ear training, which is a freshman music major class, and I got to work with a music ensemble um, that myself and another graduate student had put together when I was there. So I really enjoyed the college age students, and then of course, um, now with higher ed being the way it is, um, they require you to have a doctorate to teach at the collegiate level. And they're actually providing me health care as well, and my stipend is now actually a reasonable salary in the $20,000 range. So I'm actually getting paid um, now more to work for the university, and they're paying for my education as well as being a student. So taking the higher ed path has been tough because as many college kids know, you know, the late nights and doing that for four years and then you do it for six years and then you add another three onto it and it just, it just adds up to being a lot of whole, a whole lot of time that you're spending, you know, getting up early and then pulling late nights, you know, in the library or late nights composing. So I'm glad I still have summers to come. And I, I get to work this summer, I'm back here again home base at the University of New Hampshire, um, working for the Summer Youth Music School here, which also gives me a great chance to come back and work with high school kids and to, to see the passion that they have and to kind of offer some advice into going into higher education.